Let's talk about biomes and habitats. The word biome means life, home. In fact, a biome is a collection of lots of homes. Those homes are called habitats. You have a habitat. It's your house, the place where you live. Your friends and neighbors have their own habitats, their own houses. Every house in a neighborhood is a little different, and every habitat within a biome is different too. But because you all live near each other, you experience certain weather and temperatures together. If it rains on your house, it probably rains on your neighbor's houses too. That's because you all live in the same climate. Climate is different than weather, which is what it's like on just one particular day. Climate is determined by the temperature, the amount of rain or snow, and even how much wind an area has over a long time. Because you live in a particular climate, you know about how warm it will be in the summer, about how cold it will be in the winter, and even about how much rain you'll get in a year. Habitats near each other on Earth with similar climates are grouped into biomes. They may get very little rain and be hot like the desert or cold like the tundra. They may get lots of rain and be hot like the tropical rainforest or cool like the temperate rainforest. Depending on where you live on Earth, the sun may shine more or less on your habitat. In different places during different seasons, the angle of the sun can be very different. This affects rainfall and temperature, determining an area's climate. Climate affects the soil on the ground, and different types of soils help support different types of plants. Different types of plants help support different animals. We use imaginary lines called lines of latitude to help us find specific points on the Earth. This one is the equator. It divides the Earth into the northern and southern hemispheres. Biomes near the equator get about the same amount of sun in every season and are usually pretty warm. The North Pole at the top of the Earth gets much less sunlight and is much colder. My home is here, near a line called the 45th parallel. It's called Neetarts Bay and it's on the coast of Oregon. This is a place where two big biomes come together, the temperate coniferous forest biome and the marine biome. Temperate refers to the climate in the biome. It means that it's pretty cool, mild, and we get a lot of rain. In fact, here on the Oregon coast, we get so much rain that our habitat is considered a temperate rainforest. Coniferous refers to the dominant types of forest habitat we have here, full of conifer trees. This is a conifer tree. See, most conifer trees have leaves shaped like needles. They also have cones, which is where they make seeds. Conifers grow in soil without many nutrients. They have learned or adapted to grow together here. It is okay to have fewer nutrients since they grow really slowly and most of them keep their leaves all year long. This provides a certain type of home or habitat for animals and other plants. But that's just the most common habitat in this biome. Other habitats in this biome have lots of deciduous trees. We see these trees a lot near creeks and streams. Deciduous trees are different. Most have broad leaves. In the fall and winter, the leaves turn colors and then they all fall off. Broadleaf deciduous trees need lots of nutrients in their soils so they can regrow all of their leaves every spring. Those are just a couple of the habitats in the temperate coniferous forest biome. But the other major biome around Neetarts Bay is this one. The marine biome is the largest biome on the planet. It includes all of the world's oceans and bays. Habitats in the marine biome are very important places and include tropical coral reefs, T 
deep and dark ocean trenches and the areas where the land meets the sea along our coastlines. This very productive habitat includes mud flats, sandbars, and vast forests of eelgrass and seaweed that may provide food and shelter for many animals. The habitats in the temperate coniferous forest and marine biomes near Neetarts can look similar to habitats around the world that have similar climates. Remember, biomes are global. We just learned that every creature lives in a unique habitat. A habitat is influenced by its location on Earth and its climate. Lots of habitats that share climates form a big global biome. What biome do you live in? What are your local habitats like? What other habitats and biomes are out there different from the one you live in? You can learn about habitats and biomes by exploring the area you live in. Go out and be inspired by your backyard habitat, neighboring forest, local stream, or nearby bay. It's time to explore, investigate, and learn.